This is Mark from the Ashini. Jeez, I have a big ass pimple. Lord. Yeah, this is Mark from the Ashini, and I'm. I never fuck it. I hate to fucking drive. Um, but because I'm doing marketing for this luxury complex here in Nicaragua, I have to be fucking driving everywhere. Um, so I wanted to bring up some stuff with Amazon because I started to do some Amazon um, YouTube videos and I stopped. And the reason why I stopped, there's a reason why I stopped and then I have some other things to clear up. So the reason why I stopped is because we're making software for Amazon um, for drop shipping on Amazon, some DSGN software for drop shipping on Amazon, and I didn't want to continue wasting time uploading videos when I don't have the fucking software because we always make the best software with the most features available for exactly what we want to do. Whether you like it or not, I don't know. Anyway, so um, between I, there's a dude I follow, R Rules for Rebels. He also follows me on YouTube, and we post some of the sim some similar stuff, and. I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about dropshipping on Amazon and if it's legal or if it's allowed and blah, blah. And um, I haven't responded to it yet. Um, and I, I always want to give you guys 100% truth. And I always challenge myself to give every fucking thing, right? So this is the truth, the real everything. Pure drop shipping on Amazon from other retailers is not fucking allowed. <laughs> That's the bottom line. It is technically in Amazon. I would look for the um I would either look for the video look for the link or look for the video that Rules for Rebels posted. Um and link it to that. But generally speaking, it is not allowed. And it's not illegal. You're not going to go to jail. They're not going to take your fucking money. But in their terms of service, it is not allowed. That's the bottom line. Not, not really allowed. It is not fucking allowed. Okay. Now that we get that out of the way, I still fucking dropship on Amazon. My buddy, I'm not, still dropships on Amazon and sold over $12 million last year between 10 accounts dropshipping on Amazon. One of his accounts is within the top 5,000 sellers on Amazon, period. So, and let me kind of explain why, let me kind of explain some of the limitations and that type of stuff. Amazon has an insane amount of traffic compared to eBay, right? I drop ship on Amazon because I don't live in the US. I'm, I plan to get into FBA, but I formed a separate corporation, got a separate Amazon account. If Amazon's closed that account, then Okay, I lose my drop shipping on Amazon business, but it's not the end of the world. So I want, I'm putting that out there first to explain. So I'm drop shipping on fucking Amazon. Amazon doesn't like it, but I'm doing it. Okay, if they if they shut down my account, okay. Um, my buddy sold 2.5 million from one account last year, and the account still isn't shut down, and he's in the top three or five thousand sellers on Amazon. So. The reason why Amazon doesn't want drop shipping that way is for two reasons. One, it is difficult to keep up the high customer service that Amazon requires you as a seller on Amazon because Amazon is killing it in e-commerce online. So they want their sellers to keep up that high customer service and high quality, right? That is very difficult to keep up with using other retailers because you depend on them in a huge way. Another reason why Amazon doesn't want um, that type of drop shipping is the fact that your customers are going to receive receipts from these other fucking places. So every time a customer buys an item and receives the receipt, chances not ch they would be kind of taken aback and we start looking at. Let's say you drop ship something from Walmart and they bought it on Amazon and they um get the Walmart receipt, they'd be like, fuck, I can start looking at Walmart. So it would, it would, it would, it would cause Amazon, it may cause Amazon to lose some sellers. So those are the two remaining reasons Amazon doesn't want us to drop ship on Amazon. Although I still do it and there are thousands of people that still fucking do it, right? So now let's get into some of the limitations. 
because Amazon does not want you to drop ship on fucking Amazon, when doing returns, you're not going to be able to do returns like how we did on eBay. On eBay, all we do is print the shipping label, give the customer, they send it back to fucking Walmart, Target, all the Amazon, all those fucking places. Because Amazon doesn't want you to do that, you have if you have returns, you have to take the fucking return back to your address. Right? So those of you guys who are thinking about getting into Amazon drop shipping, understand those small limitations. Now, is it worth it? Fuck yes. There's a ton of traffic. Even with returns, you make a lot more money than eBay with, if you compare to the work involved, but you have to understand what the fuck you're getting into. So those of you guys who want to get into FBA, who want to get into those type of stuff, if losing your Amazon account is going to change your life, don't fucking drop the ship on Amazon. Okay? Because I don't want you motherfuckers to go drop ship on Amazon, lose your Amazon account, need a second one, and be like, that dude on YouTube fucking told me to do it. Mark told me to drop ship on Amazon. Mark told you you could make money drop shipping on Amazon, but Mark is going to tell you the fucking real. You can lose your fucking Amazon account. Now, if you keep your metrics high, if you keep your metrics tight, if you ship quickly, respond to messages, don't have a lot of returns, have very low negative feedback, You'll get the buy box. You'll make a lot of money, and you'll ki and you'll kill it on Amazon. If you fuck up the metrics, you're gonna lose your privileges to sell on Amazon. They're not gonna fucking stop you from buying on Amazon. They're not gonna stop you. They go you're gonna lose your privileges to sell on Amazon. Now that doesn't mean in a couple months. I've had Amazon accounts that the metrics went low, and I, and they stopped me. And I wanted to do FBA because I do a little bit of FBA also with like three small products. I'll get into all that after, but um, they allowed me to sell again after a couple months, right? So that's the real. I will link in the description to Rule for Rebels um, video so you guys can see the real, um, understand what the fuck I'm talking about and what I'm doing. I'm a savage, call it like that. I don't give a fuck. If I'm not going to jail, if I'm not doing anything illegal, I'm fucking doing it. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm making this money. So if you guys want to make the money, that's real on Amazon. I'm still fucking making Amazon dropshipping software. I'm still going to continue dropshipping on Amazon. And I still want to sell a million dollars on Amazon this year. But Amazon generally does not want you to dropship because of the limitations that they, because of the result of what happens when you drop ship on Amazon. Love you guys, travel will make that money. Look in the description for cool shit. Um, there's free training, free mastermind group, all that good stuff. Hopefully you motherfuckers understand what I'm saying, understand the point of view I'm coming from. Ask questions, be like, Mark, you fucking crazy. Tell me I'm full of shit. Just ask if you want to understand more about Amazon dropshipping and if to get into it and if you're trying to figure it out, ask the fucking questions. That's what I'm here for. Anyway, I have to, um, I have a new employee starting this morning, um, so I'm going to train her and all that good stuff. Anyway, love you guys. Later.